Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Dev. So Sunday, 4th of December, minus 15 Celsius, so a little bit cold this morning. And we're just about to leave the yard heading for Noonan, Georgia. We've got a uh, 2,609 kilometers to my drop, which is actually just a trailer swap. Happy days. <laughs> Drive 2,600 kilometers, drop the trailer, drop the loaded one, pick up an empty, and then wherever from there, off to a reload. So, 5 to 8 in the morning. Just about to leave the yard, crossing the border down at Emerson, down at Pemina, North Dakota, just about an hour and a quarter away from the border from the yard. So let's go. Till Wednesday morning, but I, I want to be down there on Tuesday because it's just a trailer, so I'll get down there on Tuesday, hopefully, Tuesday lunchtime. Give me a chance to, to go and get a reload on me back, or at least be on the doorstep for the next morning. to be back at work today for the rest. <coughs> One of my sons, uh, he bought himself a condo, bought himself an apartment and was uh, was moving in at the weekend there. So there was a lot of furniture to be putting together, a lot of lifting and carrying to be done. Spent two days doing that and I can hardly move. Not used to it anymore, getting too old for all that. Certainly a lot of work, but he's still not finished, he's still got something to do today. But he had his first night in the apartment last night.
First we got round Minneapolis, Minneapolis St. Paul. Just coming off the Minneapolis Ring Road there's the 694. Back on to I-94. And cross over the river into Wisconsin. Got about another two and a half hours to do tonight. Get myself down to Oakdale, Wisconsin. And that'll put me down into Kentucky tomorrow night. Pretty, pretty good day. Already done 766 kilometers, 258 still to go. It's not a bad day at all. Good day, and it'll be a full day by the time I'm finished.
is over, it's almost frozen over completely already. Just got a little open stretches there. Not the best view for you guys. Probably got a glimpse of it anyway. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow sometime. Good morning. So we've got ourselves down to Roscoe, Illinois. Just got some fuel down here. So we just got some fuel, got myself got myself the coffee. So we'll just do, do a bit of paperwork and then we're good to go. Hoping to be down, well down on the uh, Kentucky Tennessee line tonight. Probably leave me about five and a half hours to do tomorrow then to get to the delivery. Well five and a half hours plus getting around Atlanta so Depends how busy that will be. So, done okay up tonight. Making good time. I've moved the, uh, the main camera there. Let me know what you guys think of it there or if you'd rather have it back on closer to the windshield again. I think, uh, well, I'd rather have it closer to the windshield, better view out the window. But some of you guys want to see, you know, a little bit of what's going on in the cab as well, give you a bit better perspective there, I guess. So let me know what you think of it. That's that done. You have six hours and five minutes of remaining drive time. Six hours and five minutes left before I need to take a break. Right, let's get out of here. Still had just below uh, below half tanks, but it's cheaper here than it is further down the road. So I wanted to get my fuel here before I went any further. place as you can see. There's a Love's truck stop. There's another Love's just about 20 minutes down the road. This is actually four cents a gallon cheaper in here than it is at the one down the road. And then it gets a bit more expensive the further down Illinois you go.
the truck's absolutely filthy. I know I keep going on about the dirty truck, you know, I'm not... I'm not one of these guys that has to be nasty. I like it clean inside, but it's a working truck, it gets dirty outside, so I'm not one of these guys that has to be constantly cleaning and I never, ever polish outside. So I'm not one of these guys with a show truck of any, any kind, you know. Uh, but this weather. <laughs> it's only last week I washed it. And I was actually coming down the road there. And it, it got a few spots of rain on the windshield. I thought, great. I hope it rains really heavy. Helped clean the truck up a bit. But it didn't come to anything. Actually, a troll rod. These are the trolls here. Um, you can pay online. You can keep to the right there. Uh, I think you can still pay by cash here. I'm not sure. They've taken the, the cash bins away from a lot of them. And those gantries that we've just got under. That's for um, number plate recognition, so that they can actually bill you. But. You can probably see it in the, in the windscreen here, in the windshield. The, the tag's down in the, the middle there. So we have a tag that covers this toll road. So we don't, have, we don't have to worry about stopping at any of the toll birds. But like I say, I think most of them are all, uh, on this one anyway in Illinois, I think most of them are all number plate recognition. Or uh, you can go online, pay online. to tell you. No more updates. And I've got a lot to see around here guys. So we'll be back later. Six o'clock in the morning and I'm still about five miles from Nashville and this is what we've got. I left early to try and beat this, obviously not early enough. I'll be back when we get to Nashville. So we've got through the worst of the traffic there. And we're just coming down around Nashville now. We're not going to get a very good view this morning. Weather, it's dark, but Nashville is actually just over there to the right. Unfortunately, because of the weather, there's very little we can see. I've had a few good nights out in Nashville, it's a fantastic place. The atmosphere, the, the bars, the music. And there's a truck stop. The truck stop's a little bit further down on the right hand side. It's within walking distance of the, the downtown area and Broadway where, where all the, the music bars are and all the live entertainment. One of my favourite cities in the whole of America. And I, I've been lucky enough to visit. This in New York, New York City, another fantastic place. Neil and I, we actually spent Christmas Eve in New York one night. One night, well, it was Christmas Eve a few years ago. Truck stop's just down there on the right now, and then there's the football stadium there, the American football stadium on the right. Sorry you didn't get to see much of it, but there's nothing I can do about the weather. We 
maybe if we uh, come back this way, we'll be able to have another look. Yeah, I had a uh, Christmas Eve that Neil and, had, Neil and I had in New York. Uh, out on the interstate there, I think it's I-95, there's a, a huge rest area. And it's right next to the park and ride into the city. So we went and parked there. I think we were actually there the night before. I can't remember. But we went and parked there. Got the park and ride into the city. Spent all day in the city and got the, the very last bus back out on, on Christmas Eve. The driver was far from happy. He thought his shift was over because there was no cars left in the parking right. And there was uh, Neil and I waiting, waiting for the bus. He wasn't happy at all. That was a funny day. That, that was a fantastic day. Thinking about it, we must have been there the night before as well, because by I think it was by 10 o'clock in the morning we were already going up uh, the Empire State Building. Uh, in a baking buddy from well, he just did a buddy van uh, parked in the street, obviously for the uh, the workers in New York City, but we had a bacon wall and a cup of tea, then we went up the Empire State Building, came back down the Empire State Building, straight into a bar, and that was pretty much the, the way the day went for the rest of the day. Right, so that's Nashville done. Uh, there's very little to see at Chattanooga. I don't even know if it's on the camera on there. Uh, and nothing to see in Atlanta either. You, you go around the Atlanta loop, but you're, you're still miles away from the city, so all you get to see is four lines of absolute chaos in each direction. But I'll be back later in the day, guys. This is us climbing up Monteagle in, in Tennessee, just about 30 miles before Chattanooga, heading east on I-24. It's probably the steepest, steepest hill all the way down to Atlanta from leaving on Sunday. We're not too heavy. Got about thirty-four thousand pound on. So not too bad at all. We've got a brake check at the top as well. A mandatory brake check. So we have to pull in there. Check our brakes. Check for air leaks. Have a quick walk round thump the tyres, that kind of stuff, before we start going down the other side. We actually get into Eastern time as well before we get to Chattanooga, so it's 7.44 in the morning, 7.45 today. It's now quarter nine in Chattanooga and uh, we're still half an hour away so we have to nine o'clock when we get there. Hopefully uh, the traffic will have started to clear up a bit. Shouldn't be too bad I hope. for Atlanta. 
one to have a list, just um, take it as you find it any time of the day or night. Too far away from the brake check now. Unfortunately, because of the weather, you're not going to see anything going down the other side. Two trucks that aren't even bothering with the brake check. And the police aren't around to see them bypassing the brake check like that. Sleeping here all night, that's what's caused the problem. Right, just going for a quick walk round, be back in a minute. So there we are, had a quick walk round, it's so cold out there this morning, just, uh, just a bit wet. Get down the other side. You can see the sign there giving you uh, instructions for the runaway ramps. There is a reduced speed limit going down here for uh, trucks as well. Sank red, 45 mile an hour speed limit for trucks. A 
we'll leave it on until we get to the bottom of that. As you can see, or as you can't see, it's uh, pretty much a waste of time, really. Rain's cleaning the truck up a bit, washing some of that salt off. I hope so, anyway. Save a bit washing it. Thanks. The only problem I had this morning was at Nashville, and that wasn't too bad. So I've just come off the interstate. I'm only about four kilometres away from where I switch trailers. I've already got my reload information as well. I'm going over to. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 
to load there tomorrow afternoon and that is going back to Steinbach. It doesn't get any better does it? Really doesn't. So never loaded at this place in Louisiana. It's not Louisiana isn't somewhere that I've been very often either. So it'd be nice to go over there. Um, I've already had a quick look at some of the reviews for Morton there. And they're not fantastic, but it is what it is. That's where I'm loading and that's where we've got to go. So I'm going to end this video guys. on the next one. Cheerio for now. Take care guys.